questions. Uh, we just did that video about uh, Truman, and so we had a question come in about MacArthur and President John F. Kennedy. Now, uh, Kennedy used to write MacArthur in Japan when he was a House of Representatives. Uh, as early as 48, we found letters that he writes to MacArthur talking about issues in America as well as uh, going on with Japan. But they really first get embroiled with, uh, during this uh, early, before he becomes president, in July of 1960. Because what happens is Drew Pearson, he was like this muckraker, yellow journalist, and he had actually blackmailed MacArthur in the 1930s. But he writes this story that said MacArthur totally just trounced uh, Kennedy's war record uh, for PT-109 because of the accident that happened there. And then the Berkshire Eagle, which is out of uh, Pittsfield, Massachusetts, uh, the editor wrote him this uh, letter and said, you know, why did you totally trash Kennedy? Uh, and why did you tell Drew Pearson that? And then MacArthur was going to write him just here on the bottom saying, I've never talked to Drew Pearson. You know, I don't, I don't know what that guy's written. What are you talking about? But then... He thinks, nope, I better write something bigger. And he writes a full letter back to the Berkshire Eagle uh, editor telling him that he did not say anything like that. He regarded Kennedy as a hero, regarded his actions as totally heroic and, and worthy of being awarded um, you know, credit for this. And then that got picked up. And it goes throughout uh, newspapers across the country that MacArthur denied this slap at Kennedy's war record. And it's in all these papers. And then President uh, Kennedy finds out about it. And then he sends this telegram to MacArthur and says, As one who served under your command in the South Pacific, I am extremely grateful for your generous comments. So they're already, you know, somebody trying to put them apart, you know, when Kennedy's the new president, and they pretty much uh, get this thing back together. Then, in April of 1961, you have the Bay of Pigs invasion. And after this happened, Kennedy goes to visit all the former presidents, trying to get their advice. He talks to Eisenhower, and then he uh, talks to uh, Herbert Hoover, but he goes to the Waldorf Astoria in New York to see Hoover. And when he goes there, MacArthur lives right next door to Hoover. And Kennedy's like, oh, well, I want to go see him. And he goes there, expects that he'll be in there for about five minutes. He's there for about three hours, finds MacArthur the most fascinating person that, that he's ever met up to that point. Then in July of 1961, uh, MacArthur goes on his sentimental uh, trip back to the Philippines. And as soon as he gets back... Kennedy has him to the White House on July 20th, 1961, where they're going to discuss uh, a lot of what the trip was about, but then a lot of things about Asia, what's going on, uh, Indochina, the war that uh, uh, the many people in the military are trying to get Kennedy to get involved with Vietnam. And when MacArthur comes down for this meeting, uh, he tells uh, Kennedy, uh, you're foolish to get in a land war in Asia. Even if you put a million people in there, you're still going to be completely and totally outnumbered. He said, you've got all these problems with the urban areas. Uh, the United States needs a lot of work. You need to focus on that. And Kennedy starts using this as a leverage against those people telling him to get in Vietnam, saying, I got General MacArthur telling me, you know, I shouldn't be. And the thing is, Kennedy's one of the first guys to bug the Oval Office. And we, he's got all the recordings. They've all been transcribed and published over the years of all these meetings that he has with MacArthur about Indochina. Now, in August of 1962, uh, MacArthur comes back again. He's going to get the Thanks of Congress Award. And he meets with Kennedy again. You can see in a year's time, MacArthur's health was fading very rapidly. Now, at the same time that MacArthur is down visiting with Kennedy, Mrs. Robert F. Kennedy, the wife of the Attorney General, uh, has Mrs. MacArthur over. And so they're getting to know each other throughout all these families. In 1962, when MacArthur's at the Football Foundation uh, banquet, there he is with Robert F. Kennedy, and they start to form this bond, this friendship, you know, in the end of MacArthur's life. In 1963, uh, there was a lot of problems between the uh, National Cleft 
Collegiate Athletic Association and the Amateur Athletic Union. And the, they were getting worried about the Olympics coming up because both sides wanted to control amateur uh, athletics within the United States. And Kennedy needs to get this resolved. And he gets a hold of Earl Red Blake, who was the coach at Army Football. And Blake is a big friend of MacArthur's. And so when uh, Kennedy goes to him and says, hey, who do you think could mediate this thing? Blake, get MacArthur. And so Douglas MacArthur is called in, the head of the NCAA as well as the AEU. They all have these meetings at the Waldorf Astoria. And Blake and MacArthur will chair these meetings. Now, they can't come together. They can't figure out what they're going to do. And finally, Blake and MacArthur said, all right, that's enough. We've had it. And they make a proposal that both of these guys, no one will be the winner. They'll both come out equal. And they both all agree to it. MacArthur gets them to come to it. Even the New York Times, that was always a big critic of MacArthur, said, wow, you know, he, he does it again. You know, pulls the rabbit out of the hat once again and makes these guys come together. Now, uh, November 1963 comes along. And President Kennedy, of course, gets killed. This really strikes at the heart of MacArthur. And he sends this telegram to Jackie Kennedy right after it and said that, uh, I realize the utter futility of words at such a time, but the world of civilization shares the poignancy of this monumental tragedy. As a former comrade in arms, his death kills something within me. And just a few months after this, really, uh, a short six months later, Douglas MacArthur uh, goes into the hospital and he dies himself. And after he dies, Jackie Kennedy sends this telegram to Mrs. MacArthur. And now they're sharing both in the loss of their husbands. And my deepest sympathy to you on the death of General MacArthur, his loss will be felt throughout the world and he shall never be forgotten by all those who loved and admired him. And the last bit comes in 1964 when they bury MacArthur, Robert F. Kennedy and his wife Ethel are both there. And of course, Bobby Kennedy will lose his life some four years later. So that's the story at the end of how MacArthur uh, and the Kennedys kind of form this bond um, toward the end of the general as well as the end of President Kennedy's life.